Hi. Hi. Hello. So Hi. nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Bettina Feis and I'm very happy to have this opportunity to get to know you. Um, not personally, unfortunately, but over the screen. Yeah. And thank you so much for this for this chance. And yeah, I would love to be now in Riga, what I really love. And uh, we've been there last year, last summer, and mm -hmm. had a great time there. So this year, everything is different. And <laughs> we try yeah. out the <laughs> big challenge of a video teaching. Yeah. Um, quite a new situation for me too, because I did it a couple of times with students I, I know already. Mm -hmm. And with someone I haven't met before, I find it is more difficult. And we also have the challenge to do that in English, what is probably yes. not our mother's tongue. But yeah, um, I take the challenge. So yeah. would you tell me your name and maybe quickly, um, yeah, how long do you study? What's your age? Maybe. Yeah, so I'm Lima. I study at Jazib Svitos Latvian Music Academy. Um, I've been playing the clarinet, uh, uh, clarinet for like 11 years now, uh, maybe 12, and uh, I really enjoy it and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I'm really happy to have this opportunity to practice with you and it's my, it might be a bit of a different environment that I'm used to, but I think it's still a great opportunity to study with uh, a new teacher, so thank you. <laughs> Great, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Um, I see you in a big hall. You probably have nice acoustics there, right? Yeah, we are in LMT Hall. Uh, this is like the smaller hall that we have in the Music Academy. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you brought um, the Brahms Sonata, the first sonata? Yeah, I have the first sonata. Did you ever perform it yet? Is it? No, I haven't. I haven't it's yet. Quite this new is for you, right? yeah, it's quite new for me. Yes. Okay. And did you have the opportunity to play it with a piano already? No, not yet. But I have played with the recordings that I have found online and tried to practice with those because I didn't have the chance to practice uh, with piano because of the quarantine and everything. So I see. Yeah. I see. Um, yeah, of course, that's very um, important to know all the stuff the piano does. And it's if you're, uh, I don't know, maybe you're a great piano player, but I have no chance to play this, um, the piano part by myself. Yeah. But what I noticed, what helps me a lot to sit down with the piano part and just to try and find the main chords. Mm -hmm. um, not the fast things, but the main harmonies, because we're used to um, play a melody. When we start to play yeah. the clarinet, we get used to play nice phrases and nice melodies, but we're not so, um, we're not used to hear so many harmonics. Mm -hmm. And so with this piece, um, it all lives from what Brahms all yeah. the colors and all the different keys he goes into so that's my um, yeah my recommendation for you if you find time and you have a room with the piano take the chance and often you you gain much more you you learn much more and um by not practicing the clarinet <laughs> but <laughs> the piano part <laughs> so just to know the piece from inside more mm -hmm. okay but um, let's get started. You, you want to play the whole first movement or... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I can't play the full, whole first movement, yes. But if it's maybe, easier for you. Maybe I what? might interrupt because now okay. without the piano, we might not go all the way. Yeah, that, that, would, that would be okay. Yeah. Okay.
wonderful. Should we should we just take the chance to to stop yeah. here for the moment? Very very nice. Um, I like your sound. I like the. Um, you don't play too rough, what happens sometimes when people read appassionato <laughs> and <laughs> they <laughs> go maybe a bit too far and too rough. Um, very, very nice sound. And yeah, let's get to the beginning again. Let's, let's yes. Go. Do you have a, a part where the piano part for the first three, uh, four bars are written? Yeah, I have it. Yes. Okay. Maybe... Play it, play it once. Very good. Yeah, you know, very good. It, that we have that already in our mind when we go on. And for example, you can play bar 21. Bar 21. Do you have bars? Mm -hmm. Yes. Starting from a C, written C. Just to see that this is uh, that you see this connection. It's literally the same notes, just a little bit different in the rhythmic. So you have di da di da eins zwei drei, and now a big three da di da da di da mm -hmm. one two three one two three that this um fits perfectly and yeah it's not meant as a da di di da di da di di da da you could have written it in a three two yeah. three halves mm -hmm. basically um Maybe you can start two bars before. That's like 19. Da, di, um. mm -hmm. okay, no. okay. Yeah, you know, don't be too shy or too, too, uh, don't go too much back with the sound for the mm -hmm. third bar, what you just played. Um, because you need sound so you can do a nice diminuendo and you would not in the main theme you would also not go back mm -hmm. you know so it has to be up to the same thing mm -hmm. What does the piano do? You know what does the piano do um, where you play this? Yeah, this key. Um, uh, if I remember cor like correctly, I think they had a chord and they went like up. It basically plays the um, theme you play in in bar five. Oh, ah, okay. So you have now the accompany or you accompany this theme of the yes. piano so that you we probably can't <laughs> play together over this distance but you yeah. have this in your you have it in your ear um, you have it in your mind when you play that that you go around this so you have all this nice Gerlanden. I don't know what this is. In, um, yeah, I, I understood. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so let's go right back to the beginning again. You know, there's a lot um, said about Brahms loving the third, as the. Mm -hmm. All this, uh, the whole first uh, movement of the fourth symphony, for example, mm -hmm. and 
all the time. And also here we have a lot of those and always this, um, is it duo, is it mall, this yeah. playing with that. So of course, when the clarinet starts, that's pretty obvious. Now we are in F mall, F, um, yeah. F minor. So make it very clear with your, um, it's written B uh, sounding ace. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a what's it called? A, a flat. A, a flat. Before that, there is never a real chord. So this is the first time we have this terz. Yeah. Um, and then the other challenge, of course, is we have this different registers uh, mm -hmm. in the clarinet. And there is the sound so different in also if if someone is not a very good clarinet player, but you obviously are one, um, then you. this is difficult <laughs> to get them all in one line. And that was also something people in this time of Brahms and you know this clarinet player, the sonata was written for this Richard Mühlfeld. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was, um, it was, it says in the critics, in the newspapers, it says he had such a nice uh, sound. He had a nice vibrato even. Mm -hmm. um, and he was, he managed to equalize these different registers so much. So that's, that's our work to try to do that too. Mm, I guess if you find a good compromise that you, you start with the D and you have the the high notes already in mind so you have already everything ready for the high mm -hmm. position you want to start again yes yeah very good and you go yeah yeah da da dum pa da you go a little bit more forward to play into the piano. Okay. Um, it's written poco forte. What do you think? What, what does he mean? It's poco forte. I think it's like not not yet quite forte. It's like a bit before. Maybe he also wanted to avoid uh, clarinet players getting too wild on it or mm -hmm. too um, too rough. So it is um, still not. He could have also read, written mezzo forte or so. So it mm -hmm. has it has already some forte uh, character. Don't be too shy. Also, so you can you can get better to the high notes. But it doesn't stick out too much. The. Mm -hmm. sound quality is um, okay start a, a little bit more and I can imagine I mean it's always a weird situation if I don't really know you yet so <laughs> but I can imagine you it, well, how do I say that one it's of a my shoulders too, too much tense in your shoulders yeah. so roll your shoulders and move you can you see move your arms a little bit um, mm -hmm. just to make sure you have no Tense. I'm, I'm also someone who, when I'm nervous, I get tense here. And mm -hmm. you hear it in the sound, so just relax and let it flow through the whole instrument and don't be too tight. Okay. Um, yeah, let's start again. Short on, are you a bit short on breath, or is it? Do you have enough uh, breath for the whole phrase? I think uh, uh, it's up until this point or later. This point, um, so you don't have to s uh, hold back the air, right? You can. Easily yeah, I don't have to. No, no. Okay. So if you have something left, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. why I ask. Give more sound for the. That's not our favorite note on the clarinet, right? Yeah. Uh, so maybe I, I can't really tell from here. Um, it could be that you might be a little bit tight here with your mm -hmm. with your 
um, teeth or teeth. just lips. <laughs> so leave yeah. it open. Don't go. Don't close it too much. Mm -hmm. Let a lot of air go through. You can also start uh, with a um, with a fist in bar nine, for example. Uh, okay. Just to test this. Ah, bravo, yeah, bravo. Also, and if possible, then of course the second A even even more. So you have to see mm -hmm. how much you can give on this note. Also, um, depending on the read, of course, yes. how much it <laughs> can do. Okay, from there we go on. Uh, from the uh, forte. Yeah, from the forte. Mm -hmm. And also for this, you have more freedom in yeah da da di da da do da da. It doesn't have to be exact uh, rhythm. Okay. Also in bar seventeen. Mm, you you can be a bit more, let's say, romantic, <laughs> not not too classical. <laughs> on with this it's written as a we don't know what happens what's coming up again and and we don't know with this long notes where will he go to and then he goes back to mm -hmm. uh, theme um, so be a bit more free. You can start in bar 17, maybe. Mm -hmm, okay. something new starts right yes and it doesn't start actually with the with the clarinet it starts the new with thing the starts to to buzz earlier with the piano right yeah, yeah. okay um bar 40 then move on yeah 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 mm -hmm. Okay, be careful. Very good, very good. So the piano goes... You also go on with... It's always those themes between piano and clarinet, they get joined or get mm -hmm. um, overlapped even. Yeah. So don't start a new thing. And here you have more time. Also make it a little bit more exciting what is going to happen. Don't stay too yes. much in, in the tempo. Right. Um, I played two bars before. Also I just played the, up, um, the upper melody. Mm, two bars before you start.
Yeah, there you. Sorry, I, I wasn't clear enough. Very, very good to there. Um, you're always a bit early. The the break, this quarter uh, break, is for my taste. Which bar? Where you just played uh, in bar seven, eight, nine, fifty one. Ah, okay. Da -di -da -di -da -dum. Mm -hmm. That'll be together with the piano, and mm -hmm. you can show that nicely. Maybe just a lot. Yeah. Um. That's very nice, Dolce. Just from here. Okay. Also here, very good. That that was good with the with the break. Don't don't forget. Yes. Okay. Thank <laughs> the you. The pianist would, wouldn't be uh, he would be surprised or she would be surprised. And if you go on, think the piano. It goes on and on, and you give it to the pianist and. Mm -hmm. So on. So it has to be stay is to, to become one line. Um, you can play directly from this Maben Makato, piano Maben Makato. Okay. Enjoy all these uh, small notes because there are so many interesting chords you you play. Mm -hmm. That actually we can hear that you don't have to be very fast. Um, mm -hmm. It's more that you really stick to the notes that are important, so that are special or mm -hmm. that you want to show. And if you rise in sound, I also can imagine it helps you to have a physically more free um, position. Um, mm -hmm. So let enough air through. You don't have to press anything. It will become loud if you give it the right resonance. Mm -hmm. So your instrument has a point where it, it would probably, without forcing it, be very loud. Can be yeah. Very loud. And that's the th position you're looking for, mm -hmm. um, especially for the high. <laughs> you want, of course, you have to be stable with your, mm -hmm. um, what is this called? What, what do you call it? Um, stance and the, I don't know, the stomach? You have to, oh. you, you show me the right position, right? Um, yeah. We talk about the same thing, whatever it is called. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. So stay down there and mm -hmm. be free up here. Not too much pressure. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and ma ben marcato, I guess it's a little bit, it could have a bit more substance, the sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> something comes up like a little canon the, the piano starts and then you go yeah mm -hmm. you play um, two quarters later mm -hmm. uh, that part Yeah, 
here we have all the thirds again, uh, again the famous yeah. uh, Brahms <laughs> thirds. <laughs> you know, very good, very good. So you go, mm, you slow it down a little bit. And the piano starts rolling again. Mm -hmm. um, go on from there, please. Okay. I love your sound very much um, in in the like up to forte. It's very very nice. If you have to go high and forte, I, I think you have to free it a little bit. I, mm -hmm. It's it looks also and it li uh, sounds a little bit too tight. So mm -hmm. what happens if you hmm, how how did if you work more with these muscles with this mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, and yeah. Not, <laughs> so you yeah. press on it. Mm. And then of course if I suddenly open this, I need more what we call Stütze, Air, what we call yeah, yeah, support. <laughs> more su yeah. support from there. Because if I I don't know if you can uh, yeah, yeah. yeah anything over the microphones i can hear it yeah it might be too hard but <laughs> maybe it also helps to to fill the room to think mm -hmm. about you send your ears into the room and you want to hear your sound in the last row mm -hmm. there um so feel more free for this high position mm -hmm. um you want to start there directly like 79 that would be uh, yeah sure I hear a difference. Mm -hmm. Do you do you feel or did you do anything? Yeah, I, I felt the difference. Yeah, I tried to bite less. OK, good. <laughs> Very good. And don't focus on the high notes. Think about yeah, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. um, don't start with, oh, no, the high note comes. In. Yeah, <laughs> in the flow. it's in the flow and it'll come if you don't think about it too much. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, let's go on. So the piano is again with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, ha you can take time. So it's this music, you really, you can feel free much mm -hmm. more romantic than in the classical music where we would yeah. hardly do anything over the tempo because it has such a straight rhythm and he writes all these rhythms that are not very clear he deliberately writes often against the bars so mm -hmm. you can't have a one two three or something yeah so take the chance go more with the um, what you want to say and with the also with the character of course and also with the harmonies um, and stay a little bit more sound for this note we need, so mm -hmm. then you can go. Okay. And then more. Mm -hmm.
very good, very good. So um, he's basically reflecting on this. and so on so it doesn't yeah. really lead anywhere so play with your color and play with your um, dolce sound mm -hmm. um, the nicest dolce you can imagine um, of course then it gets rough again for the for, uh, more rough again for the mm -hmm. water but still it's a uh, when you go ba, be, bum, this um, you know about 116 mm -hmm. it's forte but it's also a singing forte. It's not ba ba ba. It's not an orchestral forte. I think it's more ya di dum, ya di dum, mm -hmm. or singing it out and moaning a bit. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Would you do that again? Maybe from the double double, um, the change of keys. Yeah. The, yeah. Let's okay. Hundreds. It's, it's also something really funny because if you look in the piano's part. He writes it with um, like E major. Yeah. So he should have written the clarinet part in fifth major actually. Yeah. But he does gives us all the um, Bs. So yeah. I don't know why. Actually, <laughs> it looks different if you see suddenly a E major. Yeah. But, okay. Okay. From that uh, from that yep. part. I think you can relax a little bit the long notes. It doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. And also let the. You always play da di da da, and the piano goes da di da da in your long notes. So mm -hmm. it. Okay. Don't force it. Same place? Same place. Yeah, it's so many. Uh, yeah, <laughs> such an it's, unusual it's key tricky. for us. <laughs> Very <laughs> tricky. And stay a bit more for the first. So now the second time you can go down a bit more. Yes. Very big surprise. And then there is really there's also the piano is also stopping. You have two. Mm -hmm quarters basically silence before this one pa, pa, pa. Mm -hmm. so that's was a very special moment and in, enjoy and prepare it so mm -hmm. it's same body da, di, da, maybe from 105, uh, 105. Or, or go on maybe uh, two bars later like thinking a little bit too much in bars sorry to interrupt so often. yeah yeah it's okay <laughs> you I feel that you're thinking a little bit too much in one two three one mm -hmm. two da di da di da mm -hmm. di da da but it's it doesn't matter you could have also changed the measurements it doesn't matter actually if it's a one or two or three in this in this case yeah as a, usually it's especially with classical music you have to lead and you have to show the audience that's a one, that's a two or three, whatever. Mm -hmm. But here, cover it. It, it. it it could be written without measurements. Like, 
because the piano goes also it's always the same motif mm -hmm. same, same part yeah same place Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You will, you will have, take some time to to think yeah. about it. But I like this way it goes now. Yeah, I like it very much. And um, of course, you still shouldn't forget about, <laughs> about yeah. the rhythm in, gen in general. But it should be something inside and not. Uh, of course, you. Yeah. It's quite new for you, the piece. So I absolutely understand that it's difficult to take freedom. And remember that the first time you don't slow down too much and you don't go back too much with the... Because then you mm -hmm. take away the chance for the second time to do even more mm -hmm. of slowing down. So the first time a bit more... No normal and the second time yeah. <laughs> you take your time it's like you you like you said something and then you think about it again like you said it and you think was that really like that okay so you repeat it yeah. in a very inner way okay mm -hmm. cool we go on from there please uh, okay 116 Good, we go on. Play the play the uh, theme the f very first time again in bar five, mm -hmm. and let's see what changes. Okay. Very good. And don't get um, too much, um, how do you say, not confused, I don't mean confused, but too, too busy with the small notes. Because the mm -hmm. main thing, that's why I thought, play the beginning again. The, the main intervals um, should stay the same, your, yes. your melody should be the same even if it's it shouldn't be interrupted by this small notes it yeah. should just lead to the big leaps mm -hmm. big jumps okay second time again the yeah 138 <laughs> uh, by emphasizing the A, you the first A, you mean, or what? What is? Uh, I I was trying to emphasize the jump, but I somehow still managed to think about the triplets. I see, <laughs> and I think in general when he writes triplets, he means something quite free. 
mm -hmm. um, because triplets also are much more free for interpretation than like all the other measurements yeah. actually. And so take this freedom. I feel a little bit like you're da one two three one two three da di mm -hmm. da 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 di do da, da. It has a certain amount of time where you have to be finished with the six notes, yeah. <laughs> three notes, whatever. But in this time, you're very free. Mm -hmm. No one would say ah, too early, too late. Ba da 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 di do di. So between da and da da. It's more mm -hmm. a gesture. Yes. And also with the maybe start a little bit earlier um, after the long note, so that you feel for yourself. Ah, it's I don't wait for ba da 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 di di da di da da da, and then you have a lot of time. Okay. Um, same place. It's also that you you hear this uh, melody from the top notes. Mm -hmm. And so on. Um, do you have to breathe? Uh, you can breathe, but I just wonder if it's a. Uh, yeah, maybe you have to breathe. But um, try to make it easy for the <laughs> for the high note then. So if yeah. you to, maybe just take a very small breath because otherwise it's difficult to get it soft if you have mm -hmm. to do a big yeah. breath before or you st you breathe before let's see yeah maybe it's a little bit long i see okay breathe but maybe yeah, not that it's yeah. too much interrupted. Mm -hmm. Okay. From 155, body da, second theme there. Okay. Be careful, also make a little sign around this pause again about this quarter. Uh, yeah. Before, uh, before it was good. Now it was already uh, again a bit too short. Um, yeah, let's go on. So from there.
here. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna start from bar uh, 84. Bravo. And here we are now finally in F major. So yeah. mm, make it very clear that it, it, it gets bright and it starts with a, a smile mm -hmm. and it's on the way there with you. Basically, when you start. Mm. That's the chord. And you start with a... That's minor again, like, mm -hmm. and now it's clear for everyone where we end. The piano goes really all the, yeah. with all the um, F major. Um, I have a, a question to 214. I, it is sostenuto tempo. But I felt like your long notes are too long compared with the triplets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just check mm -hmm. that if that's right. Yeah, yeah I, that was my mistake. <laughs> it was too long, right? Um, and also one more, one little thing, just uh, because it's such a nice uh, thing in two, uh, nine, eight, seven, is that two, six, I guess. Uh, he could go that's also mm -hmm. very special so enjoy yeah. this so yeah. um, we can leave it with the first movement and um, it's I'm sure you will have lots of yeah. success and fun with that and as I said for the second movement for example mm -hmm. it's really easy to and it's worth it to sit down on the piano and just yeah. play those chords sing mm -hmm. your clarinet uh, part or play even the clarinet go on the piano yeah. on the pedal <laughs> and <laughs> and enjoy the your part connected with the piano mm -hmm. and i'm sure you find a lot of interesting things as yeah it will be fun so thank you so much. This I is, thank uh, you so much really um, and wish you all the best for your way on the clarinet. And you're so thank far you. already on this way. So 
I hope you have lots of fun and lots of success, yeah. of course, because... I had yeah. a lot of fun with you practicing. It was uh, great. I had a lot of insight into it. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And hope to meet you again. Maybe yeah. we can come next year to Riga with our orchestra. That would be great. I would like to see you again. <laughs> that would be nice. Then we meet in person. That would be great. Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>